Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I got inspired by this piece of paper. So today I want to draw with a water soluble pencil and some white paint. And um, I don't know, I'm just kind of, I'm trying, like I said, this inspired me with all this um, pencil marks on it. And I thought, let's just kind of go for it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I should sharpen my pencil. I should have probably done that before I came on camera, but why would I? Oh, pencil doesn't want to sharpen. Well, aren't you fancy little pencil? It's not fitting in my thing. That's what she said. All right, we'll just work with what we got. Cause I want a wash. And what I want is, I want kind of the, it's gonna be like an odd girl. Let me see if I can, I just want the face. A weird shape but I want a second line around the face if you guys want to do this along with me please do because it'll be you know me just drawing it start to finish so I just did the circle I just did the round about it now I want to give her some horns because I'm I had a painting that I did and um, I actually sent it as a random act of kindness um, because I kind of finished her. Um, it was a girl who was in purples and she had horns and I loved it. And I saw it the other day and I was like, oh, I love doing horns. So why not do some horns? So that's what I'm going to kind of do with her. I want her, this is going to be around her head. So I want her to have horns like this. Let's see. I know very bizarre, but stick with me and then this will be the rest of her body now if you've been with me for a while i have quite a few of these that i've drawn on my youtube in different uh, monsters and just cute little folk art kind of things so mm, i might not want that that big the only thing with the water soluble uh pencils is they don't erase well doesn't make me not use them because I love them, but I want this to be a little sketchy and blown out if that makes sense. So, but I don't want that. I want this to be a little bit more like that, kind of rounded a little bit. I'll think if I want to point, I might want this a little thicker too. We'll see. I don't know, but I want to kind of bring this in. And bring in her face like that. And then Maybe I'll just concentrate on the face on this. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this down a little bit. This, so you see all it is is lines right now. It's nothing, nothing very fancy or hard. And I'm going to make this a little thicker, I think. So I'll probably do lines or something in there. And you can see, even with me moving my hands, uh, along here, it's starting to smudge. I'm okay with that. I want that smudgy look. That's kind of why I, uh, I did it like this. So I'm going to start with my lips down here because I've been starting lately upside down. I don't know why my brain's working like this lately, but it is. It's weird, isn't it? It's bizarre. What my brain, what our brains do. I mean, I should say, I shouldn't say, uh, just mine. Cause I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. Sometimes things get weird. All right. And then I want, I really want this sharpened pencil, but do her little nose. Mm-hmm. Just doing little eyes. Huh. Wonder if I want that, that high up. I don't know. I'm not digging on these. So I'm going to erase those. I'm not digging on the nose either. I think it's up too high. Yes, I erase. I erase quite a bit sometimes because my. I don't know. I can't. My brain sometimes does not commute, compute, compute, <laughs> not commute. <laughs> it doesn't commute either. I don't know if your brain does, but mine doesn't commute. Um, it, it just won't com compute. 
to each other sometimes. Yeah, that's better. And uh, which drives me crazy. Okay. And I want that blown out. And I'm going to turn it this way to add the eyes. Let me see if I can move my camera a little bit more. And I don't know if I like, I like that as big either. I guess we'll see. All right. So now I want to do top eyelid. And I'm not going to worry too much about going... You know, because I am going to wet it like a watercolor. So you can definitely use your Crayola uh, watercolor or any kind of watercolor pencils that you have. Okay. All right. And then I think I want, I don't know if I want eyebrows yet. Like that. And I don't dig that, so. Oh, I can feel my tables moving because I'm very uh, superhero-like today. Everything's moving around. Let's do it like that and bring it down like that. And then the eyes. Give her eye there. I'm not worrying if they're spot on or not because, like I said, she's supposed to be a little, a little different. So let me take some white. Now I'm going to take some white acrylic paint. But first, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. What are you? Well, this is another dark wash. Maybe I'll go in a bit more with this one. And what that means is when it's activated with a wet substance, it makes us, turns us into like a watercolor, which I'm going for the whole gray and black and white. I'm just going around it a little bit because I'm going to take my paintbrush with a little white paint and let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay. Got some white paint and I'm just going to concentrate in the uh, inside the face right now and then I'll go over the eyebrows and all. See how it kind of blurs it out? It's what I'm looking for. <laughs> now you can do this with water as well. You don't have to do it with paint. I want that look. Hopefully I'll get that look. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, yeah, I like how they're blending. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna pour, oh, a lot of fungal. I wanted to pour a little water into my, I mean, a little uh, paint into my cap, and what did I do? Poured half the bottle. <laughs> and don't ask. It's better off if you don't ask. I'm just gonna paint in white around. And you can hear, I'm scrubbing, like I'm scrubbing that paint in a bit. You don't have to do a uh, black or a gray look. You can definitely do, I mean, obviously it's a black pencil, but you could do whatever color you have, red. And just try to do it with, um, you know, as little, I mean, really just using two colors, like I'm doing the pencil and the, and on, and, and for those of you new to mixed media, this is a mixed media, um, because I'm using, uh, water soluble pencil and I'm using craft paint and a watercolor, uh, 
background and a paintbrush. So it's different medias that I'm using and that's pretty much what that is. I know uh, a lot of uh, people who are just being introduced to mixed media, they get confused sometimes. They don't exactly know what it means or if something that they're doing is considered mixed media. And it is. I'm using a pencil and paint, and that's mixing medias. I could add watercolor. I could add markers. And that just ups the ante a bit, if you know, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm using the paint and my paintbrush just like uh, I would if it was water and watercolor paint. And you can definitely use that too. I love doing um, black, white, and a little bit of red or a little bit of color. And you can see because that pencil's reactivated when I use the paint, I can definitely scooch that around everywhere. And if it looks too much like a... Uh, Mustache when I'm done, I can go back in even more. So now I'm going to go into this nose part. I know that I want that to be highlighted a little bit, but I do want to uh, get this nose to react right here a little bit with the paint over the eye. Okay. So you can see we're kind of Right, just doing that, just get laying that color down. And if you see that, if you feel like your white is getting too white, wet your brush a little bit with uh, water, like this. Let's see. And then you can go in and move it around a little bit more if you want. Because we're building, that's what we're doing. We're just going to build on top of build on top of build. Oh, I know this is a little dark for me, so I'm just going to kind of move it around. And I do these things because I get these ideas in my head um, because I want to do a clay doll like this. So I look at it. I think about, oh, what do I want to do? And that kind of thing. So that's kind of where I go. So then I'll sit down after I'm done with this and I'll get out my clay and then I'll try to sculpt it. Sculpt it like that. Now, I want to let me just put some white paint down here to activate all this. And if you don't have a paintbrush, you can definitely use a Q-tip or a sponge brush or a makeup brush because you see we're not doing anything with such accu accuracy that, um, you know, so it's not like everything does not have to be on point. And I'll go back in and draw more anyway. So it's just having fun. What are you guys making for Christmas for Christmas cookies for those of you who celebrate? I think I've asked that before, but I get so excited when I, I love to cook. So that's part, probably why I like to know and be so nosy. See how I'm just doing it haphazardly? Laying it down, lay it down, lay it down. Okay. Okay, so I have all my white. And I want to activate this. So I'm just going to run my brush. As you see, it smudges it, which I love. I'll smudge everything. I don't want any clean, sharp lines. Okay, so now I want to do these eye, uh, eye pupils, these pupils, but I'm going to use water and I'm going to wet my brush just a little bit and I'm going to activate it a little bit. And I don't know if I'm going to keep my eyes dark like that or do green or another color, but for now... I'm going to do that, and then I can clean off my brush, pick up some of that white if I want it, and go in there. 
and just add a few highlights. Okay, all right. The lips, the lips, the lips are on fire. All right, what color do I wanna do for the lips? I think I'm gonna get a bigger brush, a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna go in here a little bit more. I'm gonna take my pencil and go again, but I think I'm gonna lay, and I don't care how smooth it is because if it has texture, it's all the better. I'm just gonna lay some of this white in the lips there. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna do those red or not. And like I said, this, this up here, I wanna keep it fairly lighter, but I want it darker in here. So I'm gonna take my pencil again. And I want to really make this. So I'm gonna do it light. As you can see, like kind of sketchy, but I want it thick like that. Cause I'm gonna go over it again with my paintbrush. Don't be afraid to turn your paper. Sometimes you just get a better angle that way. I'm doing the same thing over here, just very short, sketchy, so I can Get my nose, nostrils in there. Make some more of this. And more of this. Okay. Turn it back this way. All right. So I'm going to do this a little more. I think I'm going to use water. And I'll touch that in there. Put that a little bit there. Okay. Do my eyes like that. Cause like I said, I'm gonna put white in uh, to emphasize it, but that way it gives it a little bit of shadow. And then this, just kind of work with a little bit of the Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, yeah. I'll just have to draw the nose in a little bit more. I want this to be down here. Little cheeks. Just gonna do little circles. If I want more of my gray or my black or whatever, I can just go up there with my brush. And the water and the paint let you be able to move everything around. And we can definitely fix that later with when we go in with marker to outline it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can see the eyes, you know, they're kind of disappearing. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil one more time. I'm going to go in there and my pupil. Add my nose. Okay. 
I'm getting the circle in my my face. And this just puts me back on track. There's nothing wrong with doing it. Now I can decide. Maybe I don't want it that big. I'm gonna want it that big. And this side. Go like that. And then bring it like that. See how it makes it pop out? Because I'm gonna cut it out. So you're not gonna you're not gonna really see all that, but you can definitely see uh kind of where the eyebrows are and that kind of thing and the eyes. So why don't we take a little bit of white, just a little dot on there and go in and lay it down. And this is, like I said, just another odd girl. I'm not going to worry about the underneath part of her yet because I'm just going to cut this part out. And you see how that white goes over there? So it's not so stark white that, you know, it does pick up some of that gray underneath, but it's definitely going to make it show. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush again. And just feather that out a bit. I love doing odd girls, different kind of girls. I just love it. Let's liquefy this eye pupil or eye, whatever we're going to do with it. I kind of like it dark like that though. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, hmm. You know what? I'll tell you what I'm not liking. Uh, pencil, pencil. I'm not liking this. So I'm going to go kind of erase that off. Okay. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make this go outside as well and then bring it down like that. I like that better than it being on the side there. I don't know what I was thinking there for a moment, but it wasn't what I was liking. So then I can go in with paint and kind of white out this. And you can see I paint and water because I want it to uh, be a little liquid. A little liquid never hurt anybody. And if you're uh, close to my age and you sneeze, cough, laugh too hard, liquid comes out of places maybe you don't want liquid to come out of. Fluid. All right, that's inappropriate talk. Inappropriate. Okay, so you see. I, I, I really dig her. Now here's my question. And you can't answer me, which I wish you guys could. I gotta start doing live shows is what I gotta start so I can talk to you guys while I'm doing this. Here is the question. Do I want to color those lips in yet or wait until I put her on something? Probably wait. Now I'm just using water. You see how I'm just activating all this? It's giving that great smudge. That's what I want. I want smudge. I am nothing if I'm not a big smudge. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now I just want to go around here a little bit. And I'm not lifting my uh, pencil. I'm just doing it like that. And then wetting a little bit more. And running it around.
I'm going to pull one up. See how it works? Now you can put a little bit of white on there. And that'll liquefy it as well and just turn it into this really cool gray. Yeah. Okay. So she will sit and wait until I figure out where I want to put her and what else I want to do to her. Um, but for now, the face is just what I want. And I'm really happy with it. And like I said, I'm going to cut it out. Let me see. Maybe I'll cut it out real quick. If I can get this paint back in here. It's very exciting. Very exciting. But do you see how the, the white and the gray, you could do the shadows um, a little bit. As you can see, like where the shadows are and... You know, I could definitely play more with the shadows if I want, but right now I just want to kind of let that dry. But do you see how cool that looks? And like right here, I just see that right there. I'm going to pull this down a little bit with my wet brush and a little bit of paint maybe. And pull it down. Sometimes I have to look in the monitor to get like the full effect. I don't know why. I swallow the fly. I think I'll die. I don't know if that's the right way. And I don't want it as thick up here. A little bit more white just to push some of that back. Okay. Yeah. 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 I know that's going to spill everywhere, but I'm going to put you over there. And I'm going to cut it out real quick. I truly am. Can you see how that looks up close? Now, you know, I'm going to let it dry, but it will be able to be uh, reactivated. So if I want to work a little bit more on the uh, eyes or whatever. It's funny how something can inspire you. Like I said, like pencil, pencil marks on... on a piece of paper that was sitting here. It's very bizarre, but but it did. And I just love the way this looks. And it wasn't hard to draw, very easy. And don't put, you know, like I said, you wanna make these little odd girls because you don't wanna put too much stress on yourself when you sit down to draw you want it to be you know what you want it to you know different like you can see the ears are different now or the horns rather because they're going to be horns and i'll decorate them but let's go a little more in there and i have a face for me to use on a canvas which i'm very excited about and don't know where I'll go from here, but thank you for sitting with me while I drew this. I hope that you guys will uh, try to do some sort of odd girl. Um, I love doing them. They're a lot of fun, very easy. And if you do hit me up on Facebook, send it to me on my email, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google, Instagram. I love it. Just tag me so I can see it. And all my information is down below to uh, find me everywhere. I love seeing what you guys do. I love uh, just how wonderful and uh, supportive you guys are. So I will see you guys in the next video. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock. Uh, you just rock my world. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.